Hey, Hickok45 here. In this segment, we're going to talk about getting the right powder charge for the specific load you're loading. All right. First and foremost is to consult a reference, get a good manual, and make sure you go by the data in that manual. You do not get cavalier about this. You have to abide by what the uh, factory specs are or what the uh, Lyman manual says or whichever manual you have. This is an old Lyman manual that I... Uh, got back in 73 I started with that thing and uh, I still use it it doesn't have some of the newer powders you know accurate arms is not in there some of the powder I use a great deal of but most of the powder companies have their information their data online okay so Hogden I know uh, accurate arms they have good information online it doesn't change if I want to use 2400 or unique uh, the loads you know it's still there it doesn't change uh, so what I do is when I'm changing a, a load which is very rare as I said earlier in another video I uh, I go ahead and get a case and a load let's say for example I, I want to change bullets in this from 147 grain bullet to 115 grain bullet I want to load which is probably not going to happen but I would need more powder probably and probably use the same powder I'm using but what I do is I go ahead and put a case in the press and uh, pop the old cap out and put a new one in, it has a new one in, and I bring it around to the powder charging station. That's where I do all my work. I take this button out, that's what holds the cases in. You know, there's a button at each station there. Okay, now I just carefully work with it, so that way I can take this in and out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and charge it in that case. Now that's going to have the, the charge I've been using in there, all right? Now, what I use, and that case is charged, I use the old balance beam uh, powder measure still. This is one I bought in uh, 73 when I set up reloading. The first day I bought that in the, the old press, the RC Best Press. Uh, it works. You know, I don't change loads that much, and so I don't really uh, miss not having a, an electronic uh, powder measure. They do make those, and uh, someday I'll probably get one, I guess. I'm sure it's a lot easier. I don't know, but these work fine. So what you have to do with these is... Uh, is get it set, put all the numbers on zero, and then make sure it's leveled up here and it's floating freely. And the bearing is loose, so this needs to be at about zero there. Okay, and I've got a little crank here. I'm cranking it up on the bottom there. It's right on zero. All right, so it's, it doesn't matter if the table's level or not, as long as you've got that set right and the powder measure is level. And then you just put the powder in this little pan. So I just leave it on there. I'll pour this in there. And measures it in grains. A grain is uh, not a granule, it's a measurement. Uh, for example, this little primer, this little pistol primer, I uh, weighed it a minute ago, it weighs three grains. You know, so a grain is very small and you're doing this in tenths of grains too. So, for example, this is, I know this is about five, you know, there's six, and I believe this is around six and a half grains of powder, you see. So, so what I would want to do is, I would adjust this powder measure right here on this one and every powder measure is going to be essentially the same operation it's just a different way of measuring it or adjusting it so I, I use a pair of pliers and I turn that knob right there to allow more powder to drop when I uh, put the shell under there for example you see how this operates this little slide comes across it picks up powder right now it's picked it up and then it drops it into the case when it comes back and you see you have powder now let's put that back in there I just take the top off and pour this back in. It's a trial and error thing is what it amounts to. So let's say I want to get uh, eight grains of powder. I just turn this a little bit and I put this back in there, you know, and bring it down again and, and maybe I've just got seven and a half and I just turn a little more and maybe I get too much. But I just adjust it till I have exactly what I want. I've weighed it a couple of times and I do it three or four times just to make sure I'm getting consistent reading and I'll even get a reading on different cases. I'll leave this uh, button out and I'll run, go ahead and start loading and, and I'll check on about the first four or five cases I'm loading. I'll weigh each one of them and make sure you know it's the seven grains or whatever it is I'm going for. And then I put this away and I may not touch this for a year. And I've got my uh, powder measure set. I've got seven grains and I'm loading away. And that's how that works. But it's a very important uh, point. You have to weigh your powder either with one of these or with one of the new electronic scales and make sure it's correct. Uh, the most important thing, you do not ever want to double charge your case. That's why when you're loading, you're paying attention to what you're doing. You never go up and down twice with a progressive reloader. 
if you have to throw some cases away or pull the bullets, whatever you have to do, fine. But you don't ever let anything get in here that uh, you're not 100% certain it's good. Okay? So, just a powder measure, get the load set. Uh, use your uh, your scales properly and make sure again you're sober while you're doing it and it'll all work out fine for you. So that's my little tip on getting the powder charge set and uh, hope that's helpful to you.